Hello everyone, welcome back to another devotional read. Today we're going to talk about love in every season and this devotional plan is a five-day reading plan by Deborah. I don't know about anybody else but this week I was just reminded constantly about love, how the greatest commandment is to love the Lord your God with all your heart and to love your neighbor as yourself. I was also reminded in Galatians 5 that love is one of the fruit of the spirit and also that love covers a multitude of sins as far as the east is from the west so far our transgressions are removed from us so i hope that you guys will enjoy this devotional plan again it is entitled love in every season by deborah and i hope that you guys gain something so you can apply to your relationships so stay tuned and let's get right into it Love in every season. Solomon, one of the wisest people to walk the earth, understood that for everything in life, there are seasons. In Ecclesiastes 3 verse 1, he reminds us that there is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens. God instilled creation with a beautiful order and our relationships are yet another avenue in which we get to see his creativity, wisdom, and majesty unfold. The writer, who is a professional counselor and relationship specialist, witnessed that all relationships pass through a predictable pattern of interactions that they like to call the seasons of relationship spring summer fall and winter these four seasons of a relationship mimic the seasons we pass through in nature just as nature passes through the four seasons so do relationships the seasons don't always happen in order they can take months to unfold in a relationship or even years. And often, a relationship will cycle through these seasons again and again. But their presence is always sure and their purpose clear. Spring is a time of new beginnings. In spring, emotions are in full bloom. Everything about the relationship seems bright and beautiful. Attraction is growing at a very rapid pace. Spring is a time of planting good seeds in a relationship and a time of uprooting any harmful weeds. And we have to know exactly what we're looking for in order for a relationship to succeed. The season of summer in a relationship is when things start to get hot. The heat of summer causes us to begin shedding our layers, getting to know one another in a deeper and more deliberate way. We start experiencing the warmth of emotional intimacy, the heat of physical intimacy, and the fire of spiritual intimacy. And we have got to learn how to navigate each of those areas in a healthy and meaningful way so that we don't get burned. Fall is when our true colors begin to shine in the relationship. We are no longer blinded by the brightness and beauty of spring because in fall we begin to see things as they really are. The cover we once had begins to fall and we realize we have got nowhere to hide from our flaws and weaknesses. It's a season of deep connection and communication and we either learn to embrace the vulnerability and authenticity of this season or our relationships gets stuck. Then there is a season of winter time when things begin to cool as a normalcy of the day-to-day -day life sets in. 
winter offers us an opportunity to lean in to the comfort and stability of familiarity. But it also sets us up for the dangerous frost of apathy and the freezing of intentionality. We can start to get, get so accustomed to love that we begin to take it for granted. If we approach winter with understanding, we can allow our relationship to be strengthened by the struggle. Otherwise, we allow the struggle to sever our relationship. Each season of a relationship is unique and necessary, revealing both the strengths and weaknesses of the relationship. Some seasons come with difficulty, others are filled with joy. But each season plays a specific role in determining the health and well-being of your relationship. It is crucial to recognize the seasons so that you can begin to learn from them. No matter what your age or stage of relationship, single, dating, or married, the quality of your relationships impacts the quality of your life. Those who are will willing and ready, there is an opportunity to find love in every season. This week's verses comes from Ecclesiastes 3 verse 1 to 8, which is read from the Amplified Bible. Ecclesiastes 3 1 to 8. There is a season, a time appointed. For everything and a time for every delight and event purpose under heaven a time to be born and a time to die a time to plant and a time to uproot what is planted a time to kill and a time to heal a time to tear down and a time to build up a time to weep and a time to laugh a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to throw away stones, and a time to gather stones, a time to embrace, and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to search, and a time to give up as lost, a time to keep, and a time to throw away, a time to tear apart, and a time to sew together, a time to keep silent, and a time to speak, a time to love, and a time to hate, a time for war, and a time for peace. Amen. Thank you all for watching the video, listening to the devotional. I hope you all enjoyed every single bit of it because I know I did. I really enjoyed it. Now, this devotional is available for free and the link is in the description below. So check that out. There is also a, a quiz that is attached to this devotional. So you can check that out as well. It's in the description and enjoy everyone. And until next time. Thank you.